Oh, what's up, Game Weepers? Just back at it, and Mark Yetta has hit us with another surprise because the Balance team has released the real detailed changes of the listed ones we talked about earlier today, and there are also a couple of additional buffs and nerfs to boot. So, yes, if you want all the information on the champions who are getting some love and getting jabbed in 11 12, make sure you stick around. Now, just before we get into these very, very interesting changes, I want you to get ready to type up a storm in the comments telling me your thoughts, and I also want you to check out the Game Weep website if you want to climb, if you want to improve, outrank your friends we have the challenger tier videos to help you achieve everything this season so check them out links in the description and comment section all right, so let's get into it, and we're going to smash through these detailed changes. Now, the first champion I want to talk about is Aphelios, who is getting a lot of changes, it looks like, on your screens. But really, I don't know why Riot put these as buffs, because honestly, they're really not. The four more magic resist you're getting, and the ten and a half more AD at level 18 you're getting, do not compensate for your Sever Immortal attacks healing you for less, your Chakram's damage getting halved, which is by far the best gun, and the one really keeping Aphelios kind of relevant, nerfing the amount of shots your Severum Q hits, and the other two buffs, if you can call them that, to his Severum Q and Crescendum sentries are, well, pretty useless. So despite Riot saying these are busts, honestly guys, these are not, and Aphelios is still going to be, maybe even in a worse day next patch, I'm very sorry to say. Now the other AD carry getting buff guys is Draven, and guess what? Draven is completely the opposite to Aphelios because these are actual buffs. So you can see your Q's bonus damage, so your axes are going to be doing more damage just off their base, and they're also going to be scaling for more as well. So the more AD, the more items you get in a game, the more damage you're going to be doing. Now this is huge, because of course you max your Q, and Draven is going to be even more of a lane bully next patch. In before they nerf him though, in 11.13. Now the two top laners getting buff we talked about were Alawi and Malphite. And for Alawi, your mana per level is up by 10. Wow, mana per level up by 10. I mean, this is groundbreaking. Alawi is going to be perma pick, perma banned because of this. I'm joking, of course, these buffs are an absolute joke. Now, for Malphite, your W's on hit damage is going up, so the base damage is increasing, and it's also scaling off more of your armor. Now, this is really important because Malphite's W is actually very underrated when you do go to trade with him. So this gives you more trading power in that laning phase and makes you harder to beat in those 1v1s. So this buff definitely means more than that Alawi one. Now, the soul mid laner getting buffed next patch is Zix, and the buff is this. So your Q's damage at later ranks is doing more damage. Nice, of course, because yes, this is your most important spell. And your ultimate speed, when you throw out that big bomb of yours, this is going to be traveling faster and hitting the area at medium to long range quicker. This is really, really important because I don't know if you've played Zix, but when you throw your ultimate out, it feels like it takes an eternity to land at that destination. Well, the speed of this is increasing by almost 50% next patch, and this is definitely a buff for mid lane Zix and not bot lane Zix because, yes, in that mid lane, you have access to top and bot lane, so you can throw those ultimates out knowing it's probably going to land. Now, the last three champions getting buffed, guys. Yes, there's a new addition here. So we talked about Ramus and Hecarim. Well, there's also Jarvan who's getting a buff as well. And for J4, your W's cooldown is is down by three seconds. Now, hopefully what this will do is let you clear a bit more efficiently so you're not going to be half HP when you clear camps. And it is also useful in team fights, of course. The shield, the slow, you know, it's not massive, but it's nothing to really complain about. And for the other two junglers, Ramus and Hecarim, well, for Ramus, your W's bonus armor is up by 10, which is a huge amount, and your ultimate's cooldown is down by 20 seconds in the early game and then 10 seconds in the late game. Now, these buffs seem okay. The bonus armor is obviously great for your early clearing and your early game skirmishing. And your ultimate's cooldown was on a very long cooldown for such a bad ultimate, so this being lower, definitely warranted. And for Hecarim, the last champion getting buffed, guys, the armor, your base armor is up by 3 to 35, and your Q's bonus AD ratio is up by 10% to 85%, meaning that the more attack damage you get from your items and runes, the more damage your Q is going to be doing. So Ryder semi-reverting the base armor nerf from 11.9, putting a lot more scaling into your Q. So these are actually definitely good buffs. Now, will it see Hecarim improve from a 47% win rate? Well, yes, of course, but will this make him viable again, we'll have to wait and see. Now let's get into the nerfs guys, and there are 8 champions here and 2 new additions from the listed changes we talked about in today's earlier video. Now I want to start in the bot lane and talk about Kaiser. Now your Q's cooldown is going to be increasing at earlier ranks to 10 seconds and not 8 seconds, and this means that you're not going to be able to clear waves as much, and yes you're trading in lane, okay you're not throwing out as many Q's, so yeah this does mean something, but once you get to level 5 and then level 9 with your Q max, nothing to really worry about that much. And for Varus, the other ADC who's getting nerfed, where your W's bonus damage is now doing less damage based on your opponent's missing health. So when you press W and you charge up that Q with your W proc, that arrow with Prowler's score and that lethality build is going to be doing a little less damage. Now there are four top laners getting nerfed guys and these four are Nah, who's getting an AD nerf to 57 so down by 2, 
And even though it looks so minimal, right, it's just 2 AD, like who cares? Well, this means that your auto attacks, your harassing in lane, is less annoying, and then for actually last hitting minions, this is also meaningful. And of course, this will impact your abilities as well. Now for Renekton, the second top laner getting nerfed, well, when you queue minions or you queue jungle camps, Riot think you're healing for too much, so your healing when you queue these non-champions is going down. Now Renekton honestly in solo queue is in such a bad state, this was completely unjustified, so I don't know if one of the Riot balance team, you know, in gold elo got dumped by Renekton in the top lane and thought, right, we've got to nerf this guy. That's what it feels anyway, so a bit of a low blow this one. Now, the other two top laners, Wukong is the first of the last two, and his AD per level is down by half. Okay, kind of means something later in a game. And his Q's bonus AD ratio is also down by 5%. So both of these are targeting Wukong's mid to late game, which he is kind of strong. Like in that early laning phase, in the laning phase in general, he is one of the best, if not the best top laners. So bringing down a bit of that power in the late game, okay, seems justified. And for Nasus, who's the last top laner getting nerfed here, your passive lifesteal is down. Now, this is kind of important because lifesteal on Nasus is one of the reasons why he's so good. But the thing is, you have more lifesteal now from the Divine Sundra buff from last patch. So honestly, this won't have that big of an impact on Nasus and Wukong for that matter will still be really, really good. Now, the last two champions, guys, getting nerfed that we have to talk about. And I should also mention that Dr. Mundo's rework is coming next patch. So we have that to look forward to. And the last two champions getting nerfed. The first is Talon. And what's happening is that your Rake's initial damage, so your first W, is now reverted to its 40% bonus AD ratio, and its base damage is also down as well. Now, this is meaningful, of course, for your wave clear and for your harass and fighting in general. But the little compensation here is that when your rake returns to you, so the second part of your W, it is going to be doing more damage. So base damage up and its AD ratio up as well. So not all bad here for Talon. You Talon mains, let me know what you think of this in the comments. And the last champion we have to talk about, guys, getting nerfed next patch is Udyr and his R's cone damage. And for those of you playing Night Harvester Udyr, with, I don't know, Lich Bane and Silver Elo and, you know, Cools and Carnage. Well, your Phoenix's cone damage is down, just off its base damage, but its AP ratio is actually up. So the more AP you get, this actually doesn't seem that bad. But yes, this will only really come into effect when you have a lot of items in there and a lot of AP as well. So those were the detailed changes, guys, of 11.12, which is only now a week away. So hopefully this is giving you, this has filled you in on the 11.12 landscape and what League will look like. As always, thanks so much for watching. This has been the Jizz, and until tomorrow's video, remember to hit the sub button. Bye.